Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at AT&T Stadium. Here with the head coach of the 3 and one Bridgeport Bulls, Coach J.D. Martinez, after a big 56-21 win over Benbrook. Uh, coach, first off, congratulations. Thank you, Matt. It really a special night. Kids uh, came out, they played really well, and you know, I'm super excited for uh, for them to play in such a great venue. And then uh, I shared with them, hey, I promise, I've been there and I've won here and I've lost here. It's a lot funner winning, so yeah. <laughs> let's go let's go win. How awesome is this for the, for the community of Bridgeport to get a chance to play here? I mean, obviously the, the football players getting, getting to perform on the big stage, and the coaches, you guys get to coach in a place like this. I'm, I'm sure you have guys in your staff, this is their first time coaching a game here. But how big is it for the community as a whole? You know, you got the cheerleaders get to cheer, the band, and the, to perform out here the community gets to come down on the field after the game it's got to be a really cool neat experience for you guys oh absolutely hey, matt if you look around i mean it's this seems like the whole town of bridgeport's out here it's pretty cool so uh big thanks to to mr richie for making this happen and us in paradise making it happen he's a wise county guy and and uh he he made this happen for our community and uh, as you look around i was really happy for our kids to be able to play in a place like this and i shared with them that the hey it's, it's not too big for you the lights ain't too bright for you you're you'll be fine if we were if we want to go as a program this is where we need to start playing and, and start getting ready for things like this so and uh you know i'm just really happy for our community you know town of bridgeport's it, it's a great place and uh you know as you can tell there's a lot of people out here and yeah. hey if you want to go rob something i think in bridgeport people are a good <laughs> yeah, place yeah. to go because everybody's here but oh man it, it's a it's a really cool town and um cindy and i we're, we're happy to be living there uh, you know, I thought your offense really set the tone early. You come down, get the ball first, you score. You know, they, they come back and score. You, you guys come right back, and then you get the onside kick, kind of get that two-score lead to really turn the things around. But I, I thought your offense, uh, for the first three quarters especially, really was cooking. What, what were the keys tonight? Well, you know, having – Having some senior leadership with our quarterback Mason McComas, it, the game is just it, it's it's at the right speed for him. You know, sometimes it's too fast, and last year it was, and but not anymore. And he has a lot of trust in his, his receivers. You know, we we got some really really fast guys, and Adonis and Toyo, he's a special talent. You know, in my mind, he's a, he's an all district kid. I mean, all state kid. My bad. And um, you know, we got a, we got a special you know sophomore running back, and his older brother blocks for him. And then we have the two sets of brothers on the offensive line. You know, so it's, we got you know we got the horns and and uh, the Cortez is well, you know, as an offensive coach, you know, we're we're very blessed because Coach White and Coach White and his staff, they're doing a super job of, of putting our kids in really good situations and keeping it really simple. I think that's the biggest thing. They're they're just keeping it really simple and letting our kids play. Defensively, you know, early on it was a little, little, little dicey there. They were moving the ball a little bit. Looks like looks like starting about midway through the second quarter, your defense really locked down, was able to contain their offense. W were there any, any adjustments that they made on the sideline, or was it more just a matter of going out there, being in the right place, making plays, and, and, and tackling in the open field? I think it was the second one. I think our kids just settled down and kind of started feeling the, the, the groove of the game and uh, started started just moving. And then I did notice, you know, Coach Dehek, our DC, he started bringing a little bit more pressure. We started we started put, making the quarterback move a little bit. And he's a really good kid, man. That, that, he's, a, he's, a, he's a special kid. Uh, so we are just trying to make him move and get uncomfortable. And uh, I think our, our coaches did a good job of putting our kids in position uh, to do some things. And uh, big call out, big shout out for our, our special teams coordinator, Clay Johns, you know he, that that onside kick. He he, he called. He goes, hey, onside. He, <laughs> and I went. I looked at the score, thought about it, and oh, what the hell? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah. I mean, because I know if he says it, he sees it. Yeah. So, and I, I trust him. And I think th I think that's the biggest deal for all of us. Uh, we have, a, you know, our coaching staff's really tight, and I think our kids are really tight. So we're, we're, we're hopefully building something pretty special here. How big is it to be playing good football, heading into district play? Obviously, you know, it doesn't get any easier from here. you got tough district games ahead of you. Aubrey opened up district, district schedule. How important is it to kind of start to be playing well, rounded in a form as you head into the games to really make or break your season? No. Oh, it's huge. It's very huge. And that's why you want to, you know, schedule, you know, the pre-district games. That's what they're for, to find out who you are, uh, find out who you are and find out what adjustments you need to make. And we do, we do have some different people playing in different positions right now. And uh, this was the last one to see if we needed to make that change. And But I, I feel pretty good about where we are right now as, as a – you know, in our positions as far as starters, offensively and defensively, and we're really trying not to to have too many kids going both ways. Uh, right now, we don't have any. Uh, I think that that pays off for us in the third and fourth quarter. Final question for you, Coach: uh, What's the post game meal going to be? What, what are you, you going to celebrate with? Waterburger. You got double meat cheeseburgers, baby. They, you know, all, they're all happy. The kids yeah. are fired up. I'm fired up. So hey, you double double meat, double cheese guy. Oh yeah, let's there roll. Onion rings or fries? 
Uh, well, we got chips because, you know, they get soggy. Okay. But I, but personally, I'd like fries. Yeah. There you go. Well, Coach, enjoy. Congratulations on the win. Uh, have have fun scouting on the road tomorrow. I guess you'll be doing a little scouting tomorrow. So uh, en enjoy it on the road, and uh, good luck in, as district play gets going. Thanks a lot, Matt, and go Bulls.